<laughs> it's great. It's great. I'm going to read it as it's written. Okay. <clears throat> as it's written. Yeah, it's clear throat. Yes, as it is written. Okay. Once in a place far away, a very long time ago, there was a boy named Roger. He was tall, but a bit round. He <laughs> lived in a big city where unusual things seemed to happen every day. For example, his uncle died. Anyway, Roger had lots of enemies in the city. Um, all the people he used to like were now his enemies because he changed. Enemies. <laughs> he used to be a no, really I think successful. I'm gonna character. read the way it's written. Yes, I'm reading it the way it's written. He was. <laughs> I will read it. He used to be a really successful banker named Ron, but he decided to go another way and is now a hobo named Roger. Because of this, his friends thought they didn't like him anymore. So they said, you're our enemy now. And Roger was like, oh no, I have friends, or I have no friends, but loads of enemies. <laughs> Is this the auto-generated paragraph shit? No, someone wrote no. this. Someone wrote this? Oh. <laughs> Is this your university class? No. Mm, I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> Roger lives day to tomorrow by the change he gets off strangers outside McDonald's, but sometimes he, when he gets enough money, he you goes to <laughs> a local shopping center called Teco. <laughs> you what? Please, I'm fucking begging. You what? He can only buy things when they are on sale, so he only buys things when they are on sale because he doesn't have any much money. <laughs> any much money, bro. Sometimes he even gets enough change to buy chicken when it's on sale, and he goes to KFC and says, "Can you cook this for me?" And they do because they are his enemies and spit in the food. Yuck. <laughs> Imagine. We'll kick it for you, you pleb. <laughs> <laughs> because there's enemies in the food. <laughs> Today, on the most windy and stormy and rainy and cloudy and sad of days, he decided that he needed to eat and went to Teco. <laughs> when he went inside, there was no baskets. This was weird. Roger thought that must be giving with an E them a break today so he kept going he saw that the bread was on sale so he was going to buy it and then a and big fat hairy man ran up to him and said <laughs> no that not f or you and he took the sale sign away which made the bread go back up to one hundred thousand dollars <laughs> this is all in the future so that's normal for the future Robert made a face to this. I'm about to have an aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> he made. Hang on. Let me tell what, what is the face? What emoticon is it? What Let me tell her text. <laughs> he made a face similar to. Oh, okay. I get it now. Very and shocked. Then, <laughs> How and old then, is this child? I don't know. <laughs> Where did Nick, what's up, fuck? Hang on. Let what? me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> and then he said. But if you don't give me that, I will starve. And the fat man <laughs> laughed, and his fat went bouncy from laughing. <laughs> Accurate. And then one of Ron's enemies died, so Ron felt his anger rising. In parentheses, that happens when his enemies die. <laughs> Wait, isn't that a happy event? I don't, yeah. I don't know. And then he punched the man so hard that his fat fell off, and the man was so angry that he cried blood. <laughs> oh, no. Jesus. Then the lights went out so fast that Roger knew he was going to be murdered. <laughs> a black mist came out of the cereal boxes, and the bacon was flying everywhere. Pancake mix Is he was in a store? He's Where's in the at? store. He's in Teco. <laughs> Pancake mix splashing over the counters. Freezers freezing at a higher temperature than normal, so that it was freezing the pizza, the frozen pizzazas too much. Uh, <laughs> but wouldn't it be the same amount of frozen? It's just still frozen. Yes. At a higher Shut up! Ed's telling the story. You're I'm sorry. I'm mute Ron ran away to that aisle that's always full of people. It has like loads of sweets and crips. Yummy. 
<laughs> there was like 10, no wait, 15 monsters there, all black with eyes oogieing with blood and tears that looked like bacon, but were actually dead people's skin. <laughs> He screamed, fat man, help. But when the fat man came, or he said, you punched my fat and now you will pay. Bruh. 40 ellipses. <laughs> I am your enemy. And then he ran and went inside a freezer, but forgot that the freezers froze too hard and now he died from freeze. <laughs> <laughs> One more paragraph. Let's go. One more. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Roger ran to a uh, exit and was almost out when he trippied on something. He looked down and saw his enemy saying, Help me, the pancakes were too string. And then he said, No, I am Roger. You were Ron's friend, not mine, smelly. And then he ran out the door. He was safe. He got out. He escaped. He avoided death. He was alive. He was tall. He was safe. He was Roger. And then he went went tea back in for the bread, but forgot about the monsters. So when he got the bread, <laughs> the monsters came out between the slices and cried, cried blood from their eye from their months, saying, "We are your enemies, Ron." He said, "How do you know my old name?" And then they ate him, and he just fell down on the floor, crying from death. And his last words were, I am all your enemies. Then he fell down and died. Just before he died, he said, I will now be a supermarket monster. So when you are a super in a supermarket, remember that Ron is waiting. In parentheses, Dude. in the future, though, because it's in the future, remember? <laughs> Dude, I'm quaking. Ron is going to come for me. And the next scene. Time the Thank you. 